Howdy. So we're going to go for some calamari or squid off of the rocks. So the rig I've got set up here is a bit different because it's basically two squid jags. So I've got a small one up a little bit higher and then I've got a larger one down the bottom. So the idea for me is to cast out to there a long way and let the jigs settle and then just tease it in. Point it at me. I'm not, and things pointing out the bottom. <laughs> Alright, open the lid and drop him in. So he's a good sized squid. So the first thing we do is basically is we pull the head and the guts out of him. So there is a backbone in here, and so all you do is get in nice and close, pull that away from the backbone, you get your finger in, get it down as far as you can get it, and then with a bit of luck. That should just all pull out in one go. He's a bit slippery. There we go. Just grab rolling in my bucket at the moment. So that's effectively the head and the guts. The truth is you can eat all, you take all this gut stuff out and all of this meat through here, you can eat, you can chop the tentacles off and you can eat them as well. These things are nice to eat, but they're also really, really good bait. Okay. So the next thing is to get your finger in between the flap and the body and you just push your finger into it until you poke a hole through it. So you run it up to the top and run your finger through to the bottom. And what I've done is I've got between the flap and the skin, if you can see that. Now the other flap's exactly the same. You just get your finger in between it. You pull on the flap off of the body. You run it up and down. And you take it to the end. And what happens is the skin's still all attached. And flaps then come away from the body, like so. And that's actually skinned on the outside other than a few little bits there. What I generally do is I keep these bits for fishing bait and then what we do is eat the body. So the next part is getting out the backbone. This the backbone looks like a clear bit of plastic. Again, you just get your fingers in underneath it and pull it through and pull it out. That's, uh, it really is just like a clear bit of plastic and feels like a bit of plastic. It's rather strange. At this point I'll just go wash it off and get rid of a bit of the muck. And then I'll um, come back and what we do is you turn it inside out and then you clean the inside out. So I'll just rinse it off. Okay. Always the hard part most people think about the squid is you've got all this goo in the inside and you can see all the squid ink and all that sort of stuff and they say, uh, let's cut this open and then you can make flaps out of it. But a lot of people like squid rings. The easiest way to do it is to actually, it's a bit fiddly to try and do it, but once you get the hang of it, effectively you've got to get your finger and push the point in. Like so. Once it's in, just keep pushing it through. And eventually, these things you just clean off in the water you just pick them off in the water and then you're left with a little tube so I'll just clean these off and I'll show you the final product. Uh, there you have it that's the tube nice and clean both inside and outside so we'll give it another clean off before we um, eat it. Right, it's the outside barbecue and tonight I want to use it as an oven so what I've done is I've taken the plate out 
and I've put a grilling plate in so I'll hot it up like turn it on flat chat um, and then drop the lid down and then that'll become our oven um, this is the just basically the squid shell all nicely cleaned give it a wipe down with um, paper towel give it a wash off and then you give it a wipe down with a dry paper towel and that just gets all the little um, knotty little slimy bits off of it and so forth so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut this now not into squid rings but we're going to um, cut it into like a grid and then we're going to stick it in the oven uh, and cook it on a very high temperature now I've got a, a particular coating that I like um, that's the coating and it's sitting in the bag at the moment and it's a first so it's a, it's a slightly different theme on the squid ring So basically, it's a bit floppy, but that's how it comes out. So now we just want to get the coating on it. So what we do, this is our bag. Put a bit of air into it. So you put the squid in first. And blow a bit of air into it. And toss it around. Now, this is when you're camping and so forth and even at home it's a much much better way of doing it than the, the flour, egg and, and the breadcrumbs and all that sort of stuff. This particular um, mix goes well with any fish, you can do it with fillets and all that sort of stuff as well. So just making sure that it's getting on the inside of that squid and into the end bits as well. Comes out, it's got this really light dusting on it. All the way through. Mm. Well, what we need to do when we put this in the oven, we need something to hold it up, uh, hold it open so the heat can get inside it. So this is what I use. ready to go into our oven except for one last little thing which is a bit of olive oil so this adds a little bit of crisp to the outside of it also a little bit of flavor just done a quick change Normally the squid I catch are a lot smaller, so I use a small pair of tongs, but I, when I set that one up I wasn't quite happy with it. So what I've done is I've basically put a larger pair of tongs in there. Um, I've given it a spray with olive oil, and I've just put a little bit more of the bake stuff over the top. So what that should do quite nicely is keep that squid in shape. Squid or calamari is ready to go into the oven. The oven seems to be pretty hot. So the idea is, uh, just to let you know, the tongs that are inside are pretty much the same size as these. They just don't have the plastic part on there. Um, so we'll just drop it in there, cook it very quickly. Um, two to three minutes. Don't need to turn it or anything like that. And all the heat should be able to go inside and it should be right as rain. So. I want to do this nice and quick so we don't lose the heat. So pick it up, drop it on, and away we go. Okay, here is the finished product. So the grills are a little bit warm, so my particular grill I have to be a little bit careful, but it's nice and brown all the way around. And if you just touch that, it's nice and soft, which is quite good. So the metal tongs have a little bit of heat in them so they may continue to cook it but thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe